we are off to see the wizard. We're gonna do something fun. So I got a comment. Um, I got a comment on a YouTube video from one of my friends to do a Trader Joe's haul. And so we're going to Trader Joe's to get some of our favorites. And we're gonna do a Trader Joe's haul. It's what the girlies deserve. I love Trader Joe's. One thing I know, one thing I know, if anybody could fix it, it's God and Joe. Trader Joe's. <laughs> Bye. Second every minute, man, I swear that she can get it. Say if you a bad bitch, put your hands up high, hands up high, hands up high. Tell them dim the lights down right now. Put me in the mood. I'm talking about dark moon perfume. Go, go. I recognize your fragrance. Hold up, you ain't never gotta say shit. Hey y'all. So we went to Trader Joe's. Somebody asked for a Trader Joe's haul, and so here we go. I went, um, I definitely have no prepping in mind, but I just want to show you guys some of my favorites and some things that I like to pick up whenever I want to quickly meal prep for the evening. So without further ado, let's get it. We might as well start off with snacks. Okay, so we're gonna come to this section first. We're just gonna unwind this way. So, first we got the smoked chicken and dooley sausage. This sausage is so good. It is on the spicier side, but I really like it. I really like it because it's gluten free and it doesn't have any pork casings. Um, it's made solely with chicken. Um, and yeah, we love that. We love kosher. Fire in spaghetti or in a bolognese. Um, I like to put them in my vegan pesto. I also like to put them in my chili. Um, so yeah, these are fire. These are actually in this week's meal prep for the chili. Then we got some Italian dry salami. I've never had the dry salami and I know this goes back and forth. Like why don't you want pork? in the sausage, but you eat pork. I'm not supposed to eat pork, I'm not. But I have a new found like obsession with salami or pepperoni and crackers. Like I can't, I cannot not have, I don't know why my mom eats it a lot and it was just in the fridge and so I would just try it and now I'm hooked. But yeah, I got this Italian dry salami because it was the salami with the most in the pack and I really just don't like paying a whole lot of money for something I'm not even supposed to be eating. Next, we have a huge star to show y'all. If you don't get nothing from this haul, go get this. This is the vegan kale, cashew, and basil pesto. My friends used to love peso and whenever we would go to Bossa Nova, they would get the pesto or the seafood pesto pasta. And I couldn't have it because it has Parmesan, it has a cream base. This right here, this right here, I'm gonna teach you guys how to make my vegan pesto because I make it creamy. All I gotta say is oat milk and some pasta water, okay? But until then, go get you some. Next, we're gonna talk about this Harvest Apple Salad Kit. Trader Joe's is not known for their salads. I'm gonna be the one to say it. Their salads usually are horrible. Um, there's a few that I really like. I think they're like the barbecue chicken salad, the taco salad. They have some seasonal salads that come and go that are pretty good, but I honestly don't even really buy a lot of um, Trader Joe's produce. It's just, I don't know if it's like super organic so it goes bad really quickly or what, but a lot of their produce just doesn't last. Um, and so I always, always grab from the back. Like if this was an aisle of the same thing, I'm gonna grab right here because rule of thumb for um, food is first in, first out, FIFO. 
So that's just a tip. Whenever you're grocery shopping, if you want the freshest produce, go to the back because they're gonna push all the produce that's been there from like that week or that day or whatever. They're gonna push it forward and then they're gonna put the newest thing in the back. That's just like the law. So always grab from the back, okay? But we're gonna try this Harvest Apple Salad Kit because I need to incorporate more greens into my diet. Um, I've just been slacking with the greens, so we're gonna take that cheddar cheese out um, and we're gonna enjoy this as like a snack throughout the day. It comes with, uh, it's a spring mix with cheddar cheese, apple cinnamon chips, and some pecans with an apple vinaigrette. So I'll let y'all know how it goes. Next, we got these teeny tiny avocados. I got some small avocados because avocados go rotten in my house. Like, I don't eat them enough, but I love them. And they're very, like, great, like, to spontaneously put into a meal. So I get them every single time. But I bought tiny ones because I was hoping that I'd eat them because they're tiny. Next up is my choice of vegan cheese. This is a great, this is already open and so is the other one. These are the two I get now. Let me tell you something. This says lactose free, right? On the back it says contains soy milk. Now I've been told that that's because they're made in the factory that also um, distributes and manufactures, I don't even know if you call a milk place manufacturer. Anyway, they do real milk. So they can't guarantee that it's lactose free, but it says it right there in bold. So I don't know. I think it's a scam, but I haven't stopped eating it. Um, it is soy, so be careful with how much you intake. But I do buy this, and it is pretty freaking fire. And it does melt, so we love it. Next up is the almond mozzarella style stress. This is really, really good. It doesn't melt as great as the soy, but it does melt. And this is fire for pizza. And Trader Joe's also has a pizza dough. It's bomb, and I'm telling you, just go grab it. Fire. Another star of the show. I've been eating this since my college days. I have to grab two every freaking single time, y'all. This is the Trader Joe's chicken salad. It does have dairy in it because it has mayo and I never realized that, but I will never stop eating it. I will never stop eating it, but it is so fire. Um, it's $3.99, I buy two because I go through them with some crackers or with some chips. This is bomb. I even started making chicken melts chicken yeah chicken melts like a tuna melt so i put some vegan cheese on some sourdough i toast it with this inside and it's like a chicken salad grilled cheese so good we got some persian cucumbers because we're trying the salad thing out and i like crunch in my salad like i need texture um it makes me feel like i'm eating something outside of grass so um yeah we got some persian cucumbers we're gonna keep going with the produce I don't know if you've ever heard of these, but these are golden berries. They are fire. They taste like cuties, like baby cuties. And they're in the same section as the fruit, like wherever you find the raspberries, blueberries, blackberries, watermelon, all of that, they're right there. They're sometimes missed, but they are so good. And they have like, I don't know what kind of texture it is, but it's just amazing. It's worth it, try it out. They're bomb. They are very high in citrus and I am allergic to citrus. So I eat these when I'm feeling, when I want them, shoot. <laughs> Next, we're not gonna go too deep into these. It's just blackberry, blueberries, and raspberries. This is like in my every week grocery shopping. These three fruits just are very rich in antioxidants, very rich in some immune power elements that we need. So I like to keep them on hand and they're filling and they're great. I like to make a bagel in the mornings and I toast it and then I put these three fruits on it and I put peanut butter or almond butter with some honey. You can't go wrong. It doesn't miss, it never misses. And obviously we got some watermelon. We're gonna put some watermelon in some of the salad too because I love a watermelon feta salad but I can't eat feta anymore. So this is a very important thing that I didn't buy today but I always have in our house and it's a fruit and vegetable wash. Please wash your produce. I don't care where you're getting it from. I don't care if you get it from Trader Joe's. I don't care if you're getting it from Gelson's. I don't care if you're getting it from Sprouts, Erwan, anywhere. Wash your produce. It's important. There are pesticides, there are parasites, 
there are chemicals, there's just things that they put on our fruits and vegetables and meats to preserve them and they shouldn't be digested. So wash off the contaminants, okay? It's in the Trader Joe's near all of the like hand soaps, tissues, dog food, all like their skincare. It's on the bottom level, but if you ask Trader Joe's attendant, they will gladly tell you where it is. We got these, these are just some yogurt alternatives. I got the creamy coconut and then I got the creamy cashew. Hopefully these are Trader Joe's brands. This is just a little cheaper, the coconut, rather than the cashew, but I just got strawberry, vanilla bean, and blueberry. Um, I really have to start eating breakfast. Like, it's imperative um, for my diet. Like, I, I just have to, and for my mood. I'm not eating enough, and I think it's definitely the cause of my mood swings and, you know, just my readiness for the day, so. We're gonna eat these with some granola, also from Trader Joe's, but I'm not gonna put that in here because I don't really like the granola I bought, but I have to eat it because I bought it. Um, to these bad babies. These were recommended to me by my friend Ashlyn, and y'all met Ashlyn. When I tell y'all these are so bomb, even the guy, Jordan, shout out Jordan, um, that checked me out today, he was like, these are fire. I was like, fire, like, what in the world? And then you put some vegan ice cream on top of them? Yeah, yeah. Also, ignore my dogs today. They're just very spirited. I don't know what's going on. We just, we love them despite their flaws. <sighs> Need I say more? Look at the title. Just look at the title. These are everything. They're so crispy. They're so flavorful. They're so decadent. They go great with wine. I love them. I, I, I don't want to say anything else. I just want you to go try them. Also, definitely grab these from the back but because they're organic. I feel like when you get some that have been sitting there, um, you can taste that they've been sitting there. So I would definitely grab these from the back for sure. But these are also in the chip section. Um, you can't miss them. Trader Joe's is on the truffle hype. Every, they're putting truffle in everything. They have a truffle dip. They have a truffle sauce. They have, girl, they got truffle popcorn. I tried it. It was good. Next, okay y'all, I love the eggnog. And this is a non-dairy oat eggnog. Usually every year I get the silk nog and it's fire and I tried, I don't know what brand it was, but I tried an oat, oat one from Target the other day. Y'all, it was so bad. It was so bad. I thought it was expired and it had a whole month left to go but it was just so disgusting I threw it out. Okay, shifting gears a bit, we're gonna go into some dietary supplements. Today, I just so happened to see this. I don't know what it's focusing on. Okay, I bought these probiotics today because I love. I have to take probiotic, prebiotic, whatever, um, every day. And this one's a woman formula and I ran out of the one that I get from Ray. Um, it's a brand that they sell at Target. That's really good, but they were $14.99. Um, for the same um, amount of tablets. So I said, why not try Trader Joe's? Um, and so this is 30 tablets. Uh, I think you take, let's see how many you take a day. Yeah, you take one a day. Oh, what? My other ones, okay, so the other ones must come with 60 tablets, sorry, because you take two a day. But um, yeah, I'm gonna try these out and let you know. If you don't take a probiotic, probiotics are just really good for your gut. I sometimes suffer from like indigestion issues, um, so I keep a probiotic in my, in my diet, period. Speaking of probiotics, here we go with the kombuchas. This is my favorite, my new favorite kombucha. Um, this flavor exactly, it's really fire. And it's so crazy because Jackie Ina, you, she has a sponsorship. I don't know if she still does, but she had a health aid sponsorship um, because of how much she drank these. And I, I, I love kombucha. I've been a kombucha fan since college, but this is definitely fire. And what got me on this is was my gut health. Like I was going through so many just di digestive and skin issues and my doctor told me it's all coming from my gut. So I switched up my diet. I got on some probiotics um, and I've never been the same. So we got this one. We got the multi-green. I love these. They're, I like the way they taste, but I could just be used to it. Um, but these ones come with black tea, green tea, kiwi juice, 
blue green algae spirulina chlorella and love ha huh? um these aren't everyone's favorite but i really like these like I, if i could buy a pack i would buy a pack of 12 because they're that good um but yeah i love these and i always feel very energized and like just i don't know refreshed when i drink this flavor and then this is the aqua kefir that they have at Trader Joe's, I love this. And it's the orange peach mango um, flavor. It's really good. It is really good. And if you know the benefits of kefir, please put it below um, because I don't really know the benefits of kefir. I don't know the difference between kefir and kombucha because they all have probiotics. I don't know, but I like the flavor, so I buy it. I bought it one time, like, what is this? What is kefir? This doesn't have dairy, because most kefirs have dairy, and this one didn't, so I bought it. And I've fallen in love, I can't I can't go back. So this is vegan tikka masala, fire. I'm gonna go through these quickly. Vegan tikka masala, fire. I showed you guys these on my last Trader Joe's. Chicken tikka masala, fire. I get two, I would get three, but these are $5.99. But they are pretty heavy and they, I'll show you inside. They do come with a lot, like, they come with a hefty amount of meat in this and then this is the rice serving and that's, that's pretty good. Like, this is my hand. That's pretty good, that's a great serving. So, I buy them. Um, these are definitely part of my meal prep <laughs> because they already prepped. Hello. All right, and so coming into the last part, this is a shining star. When I went on my parasite cleanse, I couldn't have gluten and pasta was a big craving for me. I don't know why, but maybe because I couldn't have it. These are fire, okay? Fire. You will not taste the difference. They come raw, like this is raw pasta noodle. I used it um, for my um, last pasta, but like I wanna show you this isn't hardened. This is the raw pasta. And of course she will not focus, but whatever, my hands are clean. Um, love this. You, these, these you might miss if you're not looking. So this is gonna be where you find all of the hummus, okay? All of the hummus, this is where you'll find it. The hummus, the truffle dip, the guacamole, it's in there, it's in that section. And then this is gonna be right along over there too. Like it's gonna be in that section. I don't know why. I don't know why, but it is. So go figure. We're getting to the last bits, y'all. So this is new. I saw this today when I walked in and I was like, truffle picante spicy pasta sauce? That sounds like a fire sauce to eat over some penne pasta or some bow tie. And I've been craving both. So we're gonna do it this week. Um, it doesn't have any dairy, so that already got me on there. And let's see, it also doesn't seem to have any gluten. Um, and I'm just saying that because some people have dietary restrictions and these are some things that people look for when they're shopping. Um, I don't see that. Um, so period, we love that. And it's only 45 fucking calories. We love it. So this is something new that we're gonna try. And this was like, obviously it'll be where usually their sauces are, but it's also like, in the very front of Trader Joe's because it's new. This is the turkey chili. I make my own chili, but I like to add a base sometimes. This is gonna be the base this week. Trader Joe's turkey chili is really good. Like, why don't you want to focus? I just don't understand. But yeah, the turkey chili is really good. I would definitely try it, give it a go. You see, I bought two and it's only like $1.29. We just got some peanut butter. It's a staple. It just tastes like peanut butter, nothing different. We got some crackers to go with our salami. And this girl right here, y'all. This girl right here, y'all. This, these are fire. When I say fire, these are fire. Like, I don't need, what I do need to know is if they have if this is decaf or caffeine, okay, okay. I think this is actually caffeine because it says it contains coffee powder. Yeah, it says coffee powder. I don't know what else is in here, but there's coffee powder. 
and the camera cut off y'all we'll do an overview but yeah y'all Oh, and how can I forget my cutie tree? So I saw this like walking in the Trader Joe's and they have them every year. But today I was just like, I want it. I want him to come home with me. And the guy at the register, I know he gave it to me for free because I did not pay it and it's not, it's not on my receipt. So thank you, Jordan. I appreciate you. You're the best. His name is Grumpy. Cause he's a Grinch tree, get it? This is the haul. Please, please, please do not walk. Run to your nearest Trader Joe's. Pick up something from this haul. Let me know how you like it. Let me know if it's hard to find in your area and maybe we can figure it out. Um, because some Trader Joe's, you know, have different things, but yeah. Also, let me know in the comment what is your favorite Trader Joe's seasonal item because there are some things that they discontinue throughout the year and they're only, you know, around for special times. So let me know. I really hope you enjoyed this haul. I love you so much. I hope that you are eating well and that you're happy. Okay, love you. Bye.